All right, I am back with another Genshin Impact video in the wake of update 1.3 here, and I wanted to talk a little bit about Zhao, uh, which again, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I think I am. I think that's a pretty easy one. As you can see, I did manage to pull Zhao, and you'll have to excuse me for bragging <laughs> for my insane luck last night as I was doing these polls. Um, I'm not going to do like live polls and like like videos like that, like showing you know me throwing you know gems and money away to get characters and stuff. Um, I just I don't really like videos like that. But not to say I I don't think you can spend money on the game if you want to, but I I just don't like the idea of filming kind of random roll pull videos. That said, I will not uh, restrain myself from bragging about the characters that I have gotten <laughs> through those. In this case, I got uh, Zhao in my first 10 wishes um, after skipping Ganyu entirely. I don't know what my mercy timer was at, but that seemed insanely lucky. And then uh, I got Zhao again <laughs> in my next 10, which is kind of insane. Um, I've never duped a uh, featured character before and that I kind of used up my luck for the rest of the year, except I decided that I was on a hot streak and I wanted to <laughs> see how far I can go. And I got my first Deluke in the same uh, playlist. And then I burned a bunch more, getting nothing else after that. Just, uh, but the streak ended there. But yeah, that was 30 pulls and I got two Zhao's and a Deluke. And I literally cannot even afford to do anything with Deluke because I am currently sinking all of my resources into trying to upgrade Zhao. Um, and this is kind of where you run into the problem here when you pull these new characters. Um, I was preparing for Zhao as best I could because I was going to kind of grind however much I had to grind to get him. Uh, and so I, I was preparing some of his materials that I knew about ahead of time. The catch is that there is this material, Juvenile Jade, which is only available through a new boss, the Geo Vishap, which just launched with update 1.3. Uh, I'll, I'll head over to that a little later, but um, so in, in short, you couldn't pre-farm this. You have to kind of just farm this boss on repeat for 40 energy a pop uh, to get a bunch of these. They usually drop three per thing, so that's going to take a little while. As such, I've only gotten him up to 60, and obviously kind of I'm at world tier 7, and all enemies are like level 80 through level 90. Um, I did try and prepare his weapon ahead of time. This is my only uh, five-star pull arm, which is not like, it's not his signature one. It may not be the perfect ideal one for him, but I do have it up to level 80. Uh, I Getting it to 90 is going to be a little bit of a chore. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get there eventually, but I'm going to focus on him himself for a bit. Um, I do like energy recharge here. I know it, you could... For more damage, you could have, you know, physical damage or attack or something, but uh, given how powerful his ult is, energy recharge seems like a pretty good stat on him, um, so I'm, I'm not really regretting investing into this. Uh, as for his artifacts, um, I've decided to go with uh, two-piece gladiators, two-piece uh, Viridescent Rainier, um, and then you can pick whatever the fifth one is you want. Uh, like most builds, you probably want to focus on... Uh, Crit, so I have a couple crit gladiator helmets that I'm probably going to use, and maybe this one with energy recharge, just to add even more energy recharge on top of that. And then these are just kind of placeholders, none of these are upgraded, so uh, I do have a lot of work to do in that regard to get all these up to snuff. But the four piece gladiators doesn't seem like it'll benefit him that much because it's just uh, an increase to normal attack damage. Four piece uh, viridescent doesn't seem like it will either because you're not really using him for tons of swirl damage like you would. Uh, a venti, so I, I just think the normal Anemo damage bonus is good. Uh, his talents, I have not upgraded really at all. I think I upgraded them twice, maybe. Um, I can go a little further, but I'm going to run out of these really quick, so I'm going to have to go farm those. <laughs> I have infinite amount of things to farm. Um, and once I ascend him, he'll get this, and he's just very good. Uh, I will try and... The problem is, is I'm going to be fighting, you know, higher level enemies, so this is not really going to be my official, like, Zhao demo video or anything. Um, but even, you know, when he's 20 levels under, he's not, you know, doing an insignificant amount of damage with uh, base artifacts and no upgrades and, 
you know, just no talents upgraded. Uh, so I imagine, like, if he's doing okay at pretty much not being upgraded at all, I would think that uh, he'll be doing very solid damage once he gets to 90 and I have more upgrades in his artifacts and talents and all that. And then the constellation thing gives me, uh, as you can see in the corner there, this, this little aerial dash move, which you can use in the air too if you want. Um, it gives me another charge of that baseline, so every time I enter a fight pretty much I will start with three charges of that instead of two. And I will... <laughs> it's like chopping down a tree even though it's like a basic <laughs> guy here. Um, are there like a lot of enemies over here? I'm trying to find a place to use his ult. Is this just empty? Okay, well that's disappointing. Alright, there's two guys here, that's good enough. Uh, time to ult. So, this is his ult, which dramatically increases, like, I think it converts all of his damage to an emo, and maybe not all of it, but you can jump crazy high, uh, so you can do, it increases your slam damage, it, it pretty much increases all of your damage, heavy, um, dash, like, anything you can do, it's, it's gonna increase it, um, and as you can see, those guys took far less time when I was ulting, and it does last a pretty long time, and then the, bo the bonus of energy recharges is that's gonna be up pretty frequently, um, your elemental move gives you elemental particles, energy recharge gives you more uh, ultimate energy per orb you get. So combining his C1 talent with three charges plus energy regen, I think I'm going to be ulting quite often, which is cool. Um, he almost was <laughs> he's at half health from uh, those those couple guys there. And uh, yeah, so he's he's definitely strong. I can see already just from these initial impressions and how under leveled he is in my current world tier. This is always kind of the Genshin problem where it's <laughs> it's just frustrating to like pull these characters but like you just you cannot upgrade them unless you've been like crazy advanced farming uh, you know a million things and that probably requires like refilling your energy and stuff. Uh, for now I'm going to swap him out because he is not going to be very useful in this coming um, fight with the fish hat. Uh, I will say, I, so Zinyan's another featured uh, character from this uh, thing here, and I got her up to C5, which is really good. Um, she now has this, which is cool. So my Kaching build is mostly physical based, so uh, when you use her Sweeping Fervor, it decreases physical resistance on enemies, so that's really helpful for her working with Kaching. Um, although <laughs> once Zhao is here, he might replace her, so we'll see. Uh, so what I need now is I gotta farm this new thing, which unfortunately there are not really any teleport points that are very near to it. I might I might do one of those things. I forgot you could do this. You could set up a teleport point uh, to be nearby it. I have never actually done that yet, so I'll have to look into do that in the future and see uh, how that goes. I don't feel like fighting random guys right now. Am I going the right direction? Yes, I am. Um, this new boss is kind of interesting. Uh, he's not, I don't think he's very difficult, but he, as you'll see, he really, really needs you to have characters that can use shields. Um, because he has one move that will either, if you don't have a shield, it will just destroy you and do huge damage to you. If you do have a shield, it will do huge amounts of damage to him. Uh, so in my case, I have Zinyan and her fire shield. So the game even gives you like a helpful little warning uh, as to when that's going to pop up. Uh, so you can just kind of trigger that whenever. Um, you can use characters like uh, Noel, who's just like an instant pop shield. Um, who else has one? I, I'm not sure off the top of my head. But any, I mean, obviously any of the Geo characters can uh, spawn shields pretty often, kind of at a whim. Uh, Zong Li and all them. So it's not that hard of a boss fight. The first one I did before I knew about the shield thing took a lot longer. Um, he is just kind of tanky in general, and I've learned that hitting him right when you get here is not good because he doesn't take any damage for a little while. <laughs> so wait till he uh, roars. He comes in like different element forms. I, this one's either Hydro or Cryo, but there's like a fire version. There's, I think that's Cryo. Nope, that's that's Hydro. Um, and so he, he has different attacks kind of based on that. Uh, the microphone is blocking my health bar, so that's not good. Uh oh. Alright, so yeah, it warns you, and then you just trigger your shield, and then boom. You destroy him with his own move, and then you switch back out of Zinyan. Um, he can't, like, you can just have him spawn crystals normally, if you, I think if you use uh, Claymore, 
So anyone with a Claymore should be uh, pretty helpful with that. And he's, yeah, he's just, he's pretty tanky. I mean, he's also level 91, so, and I'm in, I'm not exactly over leveled for that, because you can only go up to 90. He does do a good amount of damage, so I gotta bring in uh, Chi Chi here to heal up my team at times. And she gets rocked, but pretty much if you have Chi Chi on your team, you can't die, like, unless you're just really careless and get one shot by something, uh, which does still happen in some of the boss battles, but. Um, she's just heal champion of the universe, and I love her. Uh, her and Kaching are- I'm probably gonna do a Chi Chi build even though it's pretty straightforward at some point in the future. Uh-oh, I used my shield. That was probably not good. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I forgot I had to save that, so now if he does the thing, I'm screwed. Alright, let me see if I can- Alright, yeah, if I, I can make a crystal off of him. There we go. Sorry, so now I have a shield. So if you don't have a shield champion, you can just use a, a claymore to hack some pieces off of him. And that's good enough. Uh, get Sydney unhealed here with Chi Chi's little elemental thing. I realize that I'm not doing like the most efficient damage here. I'm just not super paying attention, but I know I'm not exactly going to get wiped, so I'm not terribly concerned about it. <laughs> um, I'm sure Zhao will be good at this when he uh, is upgraded, but for now he's 30 levels under this dude, so that's <laughs> not very useful. Um, and then I gotta work on Deluc. I was gonna start building Noel because I do not have any good Geo champions. Uh, so that was gonna be a, a new project, but now I have Zhao, now I have Deluc, and... And yeah, I just, I have some long-term projects uh, to work on, so it's... <laughs> gonna take some amount of time to uh, do that. Which, I guess that's kind of, you know, the name of the game. And they, do, they have put in a lot more, like, kind of energy refills in this. Um, in the battle pass and stuff, so that will be easier to kind of, if I want to binge play, I can do that too. All right, uh, <laughs> speak of the devil, uh, um, I have to use one because I was under underpowered. Okay. And I got, yep, three of these. I, I don't know if it's three every time. Um, I do not care about this set. Yeah, you can get ele elemental materials from him. Base elements, cash, it's, it's a pretty good farm just in general. So, that should have gotten me to his next ascension level. Now we take him to 70. And what was his new talent? This one. Increases the damage of subsequent uses of cycling by 15%, maximum of 3 stacks. Okay, and that is the dash. So now that I have 3 charges of that from C1, that benefits even more from it, which is very cool. Um, lasts only for seven seconds, so you'd have to do a bunch of dashes in a row, I guess. And then now I see if I can actually level him up all the way. Uh, oh yeah, I just turned in a bunch of um, star glitter, whatever, whatever, for this. So yeah, I, I think I'm fine. <laughs> uh, getting to 90 is another story, but... Alright, so now he's at 70. Uh, more power, more HP. Still not good enough. Like you, I, you kind of got to be minimum 80 to really make an impact in this world tier, and then obviously I got to start working on like my final artifact set for him because just having everything at plus zero is very pointless, and just having the bonuses. But he's my you know current long term project. Got to farm his talents. Then I'll try and work on Deluke, then maybe Noel. But yeah, that's that's all gonna take a while unless I just blow a bunch of resin like in the next week here. But you know that's Genshin. It's a long term game. Uh, I will do like a full, full Xiao build uh, video at some point once I have him like kind of fully upgraded and I can show off his power a little more because right now taking five minutes to kill a hill troll is not that impressive. But <laughs> um, I don't know, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, little feature here and I mean, I would go for him. He seems, he's very fun to play. Uh, I don't know how he'll fit into your team or what your composition is, but He's, he's a lot of fun, and I think he's uh, a very solid pick if you can um, <laughs> manage to land him. But all right, I will uh, get to work on him, and I'll be back with more videos, probably Destiny video next, just on uh, all the seasonal stuff that's happening. But yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.